Nails Next Top Nail Artist Challenge 2. Hi everybody, in today's video I'm going to be showing you the second NTNA challenge for season 7 and this one is sponsored by On Vogue. The theme of this challenge is Star Cross. So we were to do one hand that is inspired by our zodiac sign, for me is a Cancer, and the other hand inspired by a compatible sign, compatible sign, which I chose to do a Virgo, which happens to be my husband's sign. So shockingly enough, we are astrologically compatible. Who would have thought? So I hope you guys like this design. I went with kind of a very deep look for everything, almost like it's made out of blown glass with a whole bunch of layers of gel. So doing a color and then adding a layer of the En Vogue smooth over the top of it, which just blended everything together so nicely. And it's like you can just keep looking into it forever. So I hope you guys like it as much as I do. And please vote, vote, vote to keep me in this competition. I know so many of you voted last time and I really do appreciate it. So thank you so much. But don't forget to hit that vote button again on Monday. And I will hopefully See you next week. Bye. Sculpt your nail over a form using um, on Vogue Sculpt, which has a really thick viscosity and makes sculpting a nail super easy. After that, I just applied a little layer of the smooth just to smooth it out and give it a nice painting base. Then I used the Lacket White to create a little symbol of each sign underneath so that when you clip the nails over later, you can have a little surprise under there. To create a galaxy, I recommend using a really glittery color in the background. So paint a color of garnet and then add a layer of the smooth on top of it and then just keep layering different colors. I use the colors evening in Paris, purple, raspberry, and then to add a little glow in the dark, I use the color Tropicana. So to just do this, to create that deep galaxy look, just go a color layer, blend it out with a little bit of a brush, then do another layer of the smooth, keep going, just doing all of these layers. Just keep in mind you have to balance how many layers you do to get that deep look with keeping it thin enough that the nail doesn't look thick and chunky. So just work on your balance there and then you are golden. Create a little bit of a star effect using some of the Lacket White. And then to start the Maiden, I did a mix of the colors. I just kind of created a flesh tone and painted the base. Then using the modeling resin in blush, which has a pinky hue to it and isn't necessarily a natural skin tone, but layering it on top of that other color that I created in the background gives a really natural skin tone look. Then going back through with all of these wonderful colors, like the color 50 shades of red, you can add some shading on your little maiden. Add some details with the color black, and that is the Simply Color, so it's a color gel. Then on a nail form backing to create her hair so it actually sticks up off the nail, I just painted with once again the Simply Clear Sculpt. I painted all the hair strands, mixed together some custom colors, and then applied a different color to each strand of hair. Attach those hairs to your maiden's face, just going around with the sculpt and then using a variety of colors, you're going to want to add some depth to them. So use some darker tones and some lighter tones and the same process of layering a color and then clear so that her hair has that same blown glass effect, just like the background galaxy does. So do this as much as you can throughout the entire design to give it really that depth. Also add a little bit of sparkle to her hair with low maintenance color gel. On this nail, I began with a gradient from the galaxy appearance down to black. So apply black color gel from the tip fading up and then repeat your whole galaxy process near the cuticle area of the nail, blending it down so it's not quite as colorful the closer it gets to the tip. Apply a final layer of smooth and then with Lacket White, I'm going to paint just the silhouette of my maiden reaching towards the stars. Color in her skirt with the same color mixes that I used for her hair on the other nail, then add her skin tone, and then use her actual color, her actual hair with the brightest pinks you got, which for me was the hibiscus simply color, and then add some little black outlines to define everything. And then the fun part, I'm going to create the little constellation for Virgo with the simply clear in sculpt and some more of that Tropicana so it glows in the dark, add some glitter, add some rhinestones, cure that, attach that to the nail so it actually sits up off the nail. To create my blown glass crab, I started out with a clear base of Sculpt and then I'm going to add some wires for the base of the legs, bend those into place, and then go through and use little bits at a time of the Simply Clear Sculpt to create the different pieces of the legs. Flash cure very often so that they don't run together and then keep that bulbous shape. Start out a dark color on your crab and then build up to the lighter colors between the layers. This really lends towards that depth that I keep mentioning. So you want to just do that. Keep adding a color and then a layer. You can sculpt in some textures in the base of your crab with the sculpt to give it some more dimension underneath there. After you've done all your details, 
apply some top coat and then I'm going to do this next nail with actually some encased sand. So encase some sand in the tip and then use your galaxy colors to create almost a fading in ocean over the sand. Get some little white waves going, add some more highlights. To me, a Cancer, they were very relaxed people, so I wanted my little crab to just be chilling on the edge of the beach like she's just enjoying the day. So paint the crab with the same colors you did with your Extreme 3D crab on the other nail. Then to create some little orbiting planets, use some more of your Sculpt Gel on a piece of wire that you can pop it off. Paint Cancers as the Moon and Virgos as Mercury, as those are our ruling planets. Create little holes in the nail to wrap the wire around. So use a very fine piece of wire and gently bend it into a really smooth curve. String your appropriate planet or moon onto the wire and secure that in place. Then to make a broken heart style thumbnail design, lay the two tips down on a piece of paper, trace them, and then create your little broken heart design. Lay a nail form backing on top of it to sculpt each piece. Glue those down and smooth them out with more of the Smooth Gel from En Vogue. Create the same galaxy pattern going across them, just like so, same colors you've been using all along. Be very careful throughout this whole process that you don't ruin the sharp edges of your little broken heart area so that the nails do fit together when you are all done. Then create another little constellation so that these nails are very glowy and very astrologically themed. On the pinky, if you're going to use a pointy bottom rhinestone like I did, I would recommend creating a little groove so that it fits flush with the nail. And that is it. I hope you guys love this as much as I do. I wanted to create as many effects as I could. If you have any questions about anything, don't hesitate to ask me. I would love to share more with you. And don't forget to vote. I know I said in the beginning that voting is on Monday, but Monday happens to be a holiday in the United States, so it's actually Tuesday. So check back on Tuesday, and I'll have a link in the description box below. Thanks again. See you next week.